Hi guys, it's your girl Jo. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. All right, so you noticed the big part right away. Um, today we're going to Portland, and the first stop, of course, have to be to get some roadside food, which naturally have to be some soup. And here we're getting some Manish water soup. So you know, say your girl have to eat, and anywhere the food day, I have to find it. So yeah, um. They have a bunch of stuff here to eat if you want. See them have chicken. Uh, chicken is yeah, chicken and uh, fritters. Uh. But I'm not really interested in that. I'm just interested in milk soup. Yeah. To get started on the road. We're already up in the hills, up in St. Mary. I guess this is the Barden Line, St. Andrew St. Mary. And I always have a stop for get some pills for my head. Most time I walk with my travel pills, but I forgot them once again. And so I had to stop to try to get something because, you know, the swerves and the curves of going to Portland sometimes give me motion sickness. Not sometimes. May I get motion sickness. So I have to stop and get some pills at one of these shops. Um, so that's basically what I did. And luckily, as usual, I'm able to get something. <laughs> Um, so please remind me, remind me next time to make sure that I walk it all. I was in a rush, so I actually left a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. So guys, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and go and watch my other videos. Anywho, so the initial plan was to go to Portland, but upon arriving at the intersection, you know that little roundabout we had to decide if we're going to Portland or going to St. Mary. We decided that, hey, remember Strawberry Fields? We can go to Strawberry Fields instead of making the journey all the way to Portland. I mean, I have not been to Portland in a while, so I was really looking forward to going there. But at this hour of the day and, and how we felt and everything, you know, it was just like, all right. Long time I haven't been to Strawberry Fields, so let's just go to Strawberry Fields. Let's just make, you know, let's just cut that journey short. Let's just go to Strawberry Fields and just have a good time, enjoy the scenery and all of that. So, yeah, that's basically what we're doing today. We're going to Strawberry Fields. It's basically almost the same thing. It's a beach and it has a good vibe. You can get food there and just chill and lime and do all the things in the world that you want to do that you can do in Portland. So, that's what we're doing. It's actually one of the very few commercialized places in St. Mary that you can actually go to. Um, of course, my family, my mom is from St. Mary. So, of course, we have rivers. A river is in the backyard of my grandma's house. Um, and you have enough liquor river all over the place. But in terms of, you know, a big popular commercialized. It's not very popular, but popular enough. It's commercialized. Um strawberry fields is one of the very few places that i can name off the top of my head so that was our place for the day and so as you can see we are arriving it's a little bit journey once you come off the road it's probably like a 20 minute drive which is not too bad because the road is not so bad actually um and we've just arrived the cost to go in is one thousand dollars we paid one thousand dollars each for adults and i think it's 500 for a child it says on the gate with food fifteen hundred dollars for adults and without food is thousand so i thought that if you paid fifteen hundred you'd get food and then a thousand dollars is if you don't want the food but it's actually if you're taking in food with you so if i stopped at kfc and decided that i wanted to take kfc with me to strawberry fields i would pay fifteen hundred dollars instead of the thousand dollars that i did pay Whew. what a piece of thing i never know something could i go so but yeah that is the case um so yeah guys i guess you just have to stay tuned and see um what happens next But there's still sand down there. But just not not like you know in Mobe or any girl kind of beach. I think the restaurant is up there, Seto. 
So you hungry, so you probably... Nice, right? Ouch! Look at that. I didn't even bring a beach mat. Alright guys, so basically, I'm just chilling. As you know, anywhere I'm gonna go as a beach, <laughs> I'm gonna have a bear in hand. And I already went in the water. I actually swam. I don't normally like to swim in salt water, but honestly, the water was a vibe. It was clear. It was beautiful. The people were in the water playing all kind of volleyball and something. It was just a good vibe. It's a good day to be out. A lot of people were out with their family and stuff. A lot of groups were there as well. And it was just a nice chill vibe. So, yeah. So, one of the things I really like about Strawberry Fields is that you know, shot or not, and if you want beer, liquor, anything, you can get it food, anything that you want. If you didn't take it with you, it's there. You know, sometimes you go to some places, and if you don't have certain things, <laughs> if you don't have the food, you're going to starve. Yeah, you can get anything here that you want. So, all you need to do is just carry yourself. Um, and if you love nature, this one will do you well. So, it's just very relaxing and peaceful. Oh, it's actually a better view, right? Yeah. The water looks prettier. So guys, one of the things I did not mention earlier was that Strawberry Fields actually have some huts. If you want to call them so, you can actually rent them and sleep overnight for the weekend, for a day, for days. Uh, I don't think I have video much of them, but if you look around, you can see there goes one. Um, there goes two. So you have different places and then you have uh, space enough. There goes some other over there. You can play football. There's a little playhouse there. Yep. Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share. <laughs> so I smelled some food and decided to walk over here. Now this is not where the actual restaurant is. The restaurant is actually up on the hill, a little bit further along the way. But we saw this food, some food, and a lot of people were going over there. So we figured that they're selling food, and we're gonna go support them. And they had all sorts of food you can think of: chicken, pork. They also had a bar, and they ha it was stocked. So we went and supported them as well. So guys, I just finished eating. <laughs> no laugh at me. I just finished eating, and. It was fun while I was here. They're having a party and I actually got my food for free. I didn't show you guys my food. I actually got food for free and just had to pay for the liquor because they're having some farmer party here or something. So yeah, so I'm just here chilling by this little bench. And it was fun. So I'm about to leave now and that's it. Oh, 
ਹੁੰਦੇ